Welcome back everyone, it's me, Mr. 4K Opscaler. So before we uh, start this video, I just want to say that I'm looking forward to this game. I've been following it and development of it for quite some time. And uh, it's going to be interesting to see how this game is going to be once it's released tomorrow. So what this video is going to be about, it's me letting you know what this game is about, uh, what to expect before you uh, put your hard-earned cash onto this game tomorrow, uh, December 7th, Thursday. Today is December 6th. So first thing first, if you have Ubisoft Plus and you have a PC, right, uh, semi-decent PC with like 3070 or 3080, uh, you will be able to play this tomorrow included with Ubisoft Plus, and you're going to get the best possible in addition. You're going to get the ultimate $120 edition included with all the DLCs, all the goodies, all the benefits. So if you have Ubisoft Plus, you're going to get everything included with uh, Avatar Frontiers of Pandora edition. So on this segment, I'm going to go through and read what developers are saying. What can you expect tomorrow when you finally purchase this game? And we're gonna go through that and I'm gonna read it for you all right so this was posted on December 6th at 12 a.m. the launch of Avatar Frontiers of Pandora is just around the corner to make sure you'll have the best start on the Pandora we gathered some of the helpful information before you start your adventure day one patch and offline mode the day one patch is mandatory to start playing the game Therefore, a one-time internet connection is required. After that, you will be able to play the game offline and enjoy the Western Frontier without an internet connection. If you want to team up in co-op, an internet connection is required, obviously. Now, for those of you who have Xbox, Xbox players will receive two discs. Xbox players will receive two discs in North, Central, and South America territories regions. The Collector's Edition and Gold Edition will have the second disc in a white envelope within the case, so make sure you don't miss it. Two-player co-op, cross-platform, this means that you'll be able to play with people on PC, Xbox, and PlayStation. So this is pretty cool. Cross-platform two-player co-op will be available after you finish the quest. So you have to finish the quest before you can unlock the co-op. And the quest is called the Aranahe Clan. Once you complete the Aranahe Clan, once you complete the quest, you will be able to connect with your co-op buddy, explore the Western Frontier, and take on the RDA together. In co-op, one player acts as the host, the one inviting to the session. So what does that mean? That means if I invite you to my game, then you're going to help me progress throughout my uh, level that I'm at. If you invite me to your game, then I'm going to help you progress through the level you're at. So just keep that in mind. Now, if you don't want to do that, if you just want to play without the co-op and level up and progress throughout the game, you can do that as well. Uh, but it's good to know that you have option of co-op. Once you finish the game, it's good to know that you can go back and explore and, you know, do it with a, with a friend. So, uh, in co-op, one player acts as the host, the one inviting to the session. The other is the, the guest. The one accepting the invitation, of course. The world will reflect the host progress as the co-op session begins. Quests and activities you complete in co-op do not need to be replayed solo. The players will keep all progression gained during the co-op session. So I may I made a mistake, I apologize. This is even actually this is even better. So I apologize, I made a mistake, I spoke too soon. This is even better, so thank you. Thank you, Ubisoft. 
The quests and activities you complete in co-op do not need to be replayed solo. The players will keep all progression gained during the co-op session, including gear, items, and collectibles. So this is awesome. So if I play co-op together with my friend, I don't have to go back and replay those missions solo to gather all of that stuff. That means I will accumulate everything that I did with my friend, and I will keep all of that. So this is great, great, great news. This is even better. When it comes to difficulty during co-op, the game will respect each player's individual settings on how much damage you take and how much damage you deal. It will also take into account each player's combat strength, uh, unified measurement of the equipment and skills. This is standard, you know, with pretty much every... Um, difficulty level that the Ubisoft game puts out there, whether it be Far Cry or uh, Tom Clancy, you know, games. In an in instance where difficulty is uh, relative to the player's combat strength, the game will adapt its difficulty level to reflect the host, the one who started the co-op session by sending an invitation. So I I'm, I'm just want to say a couple of things. I'm really uh, excited about the co-op. Uh, once you finish a quest, then you can go ahead and start playing with your friends. And what I'm really excited about is that you're playing with your friends. That gives you a huge replay value to explore the Pandora, and uh, you get to keep all the progress that you did with your friend, right? So if I'm playing with my friend Brendan or Mamba, right, or uh, Neo, right, et cetera, et cetera, I will be able to uh, collect all that progression and I will be able to sink in to the cloud all that progression so I will not lose any progression and I won't have to replay all that solo I will be able to get back into it and continue where I left off with my previous uh, playthrough with the co-op that's really awesome and I'm very happy about that that gives this game even more in my opinion, thumbs up for replay value. All right, so let's see what else they have. Equipping gear, visuals, and cosmetics. All slots for gear, visuals, and cosmetics will be unlocked by playing the game. If you purchased a cosmetic pack or received one by pre-ordering the game, playing the gold or ultimate edition or on a specific platform these pieces will be visible in the game and you will be able to equip them once you organically unlock the corresponding gear slot in your inventory via gameplay this is nothing new if you play the Assassin's Creed games or Far Cry games you're gonna know that this stuff it's pretty much similar formula that they used in Far Cry games and the uh, Assassin's Creed games so everything that you get from your collector's edition or gold edition, it will be included in your inventory once you unlock it. Uh, and in this case, if you are playing on the PC version with Ubisoft Plus, you will get the, the highest edition, which is the collector's edition, 120 something dollars, and you will get everything included with Ubisoft Plus collector's edition. You will have all the goodies, all that jazz will be there. And at the end, it says join the community. We hope you will enjoy your adventures on Pandora. If you need to find a co-op buddy, get some help, progression, or just show off your beautiful banshee, make sure you join our official Discord server. We are also active on Instagram, X, Facebook, and under the handle Avatar Frontiers. If you want to have the Western Frontiers spruce up your feed. So, um... I am very excited about uh, Avatar Frontiers of Pandora because um, this is the very first time that we get Avatar proper. I think there was some other Avatar games, but they didn't do that well. But this is really a high quality AAA Avatar open world type game. And, uh, you know, who hasn't seen Avatar? Who doesn't know about the Avatar? Just the word Avatar, are you thinking James Cameron? Avatar, the, the most successful, highest grossing blockbuster box office movie ever. It even defeated uh, Titanic and all the other movies. Uh, and of course, 
uh, this is a I would say very uh, anticipated game because we never had like a proper this kind of a scale avatar game. For the same reason I was excited about the Robocop, because we never had a Robocop at that kind of a scale and, you know, a quality, AAA quality that we that we got. So, um, really looking forward to this. Uh, I will let you know how I feel. I'm not going to hold anything back, you know. Uh, if there's some problems and issues, uh, I will, you know, let you know. So, uh, make sure you guys tune in tomorrow. Tune in tomorrow on the live stream. Uh, the earlier, the better. I'm going to try to do it as early as I can tomorrow. And um, if you can make it, make it. You know, I do make announcements on, on my live streams. Uh, and uh, I'm letting you know right now, tomorrow, uh, I don't think you want to miss this. I think you should join in uh, and uh, watch my live stream. If you want to know how I feel about the game, if you want to hear it from me, uh, the best way to do that is to come to join my live stream. It is it's going to be only uh, subscribers only, meaning you have to subscribe to be able to chat. Uh, we're not going all out public because we don't want the trolls to come in. We don't want uh, some, you know, higgy jiggies to... Uh, mess up the experience so we only want people who truly care about the content to subscribe and join the live stream and of course be respectful that goes without saying um so that's going to be tomorrow i hope you enjoyed this video it's a short little video i just figured i give you some pointers and kind of let you know what to expect prior to uh, getting the Avatar Frontiers of Pandora. Some people don't even know that this game's coming out. Some people are not even aware of this game because it was kind of kept low-key, to be honest. It's not like it was advertised that much. <laughs> even though it was on a on a PlayStation uh, State of Play and, and some other shows. But uh, I figured I'd give you my little uh, input on what to expect prior to tomorrow. I'm already downloading the game. I already have it uh, download. I think it's downloading right now. I already uh, got it here. These are my games. Uh, this Pandora right here. Uh, it's still being downloaded. Uh, it's right here. Of course, it's not ready till tomorrow. So I'm going to have to wait. But it's there. All right, guys. Well, well, thank you for watching, and I'll see you tomorrow on the uh, Pandora.